Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US. And in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful pressed petals body cream gift box. It just pinches open and inside it, I've sized it to fit a two and a half ounce body cream from Bath and Body Works. I'm sure lots of other hand creams or body creams would fit in this box. And we're gonna use items from the Press Petal Suite. I absolutely love how it looks. I wanna quickly apologize for the discoloration on my hand. I got stung by a wasp four days ago. Had to have my rings taken off at the emergency room and it's just been a pain, so I apologize for that but it will not stop me from paper crafting. So let me show you how easy this box is to make. We're gonna start with a piece of crumb cake that measures six and a half inches by eight inches. And along the six and a half inch side, we're gonna score this at three inches and six inches. I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and we're gonna score this at one and a half and seven. I'm gonna rotate it clockwise one more time so the bottom of the box is at the top. And we're gonna score this at two and five, but only down to that first horizontal score line. So two and five. And then let me show you a quick template. So we did the three and six, we rotated it and did one and a half and seven, rotated it again and we did two and five, but stopped at that first horizontal score line. Okay, now showing you the template here, where we've got these short score lines, we're gonna score on the diagonal up to this top horizontal score line. So we're kind of creating these Vs, almost looks like a W here. So I'm just gonna grab a ruler and I've got the stylus from my Simply Scored, and I'm gonna do those diagonal score lines again from the short score line up to this horizontal score line. And I'm just gonna continue to do each of those. All right, so we've got those diagonal score lines in place. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on the horizontal and vertical score lines, except for this one at the top. And we're gonna to wait to burnish these diagonal lines. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut away some of the paper. We turn this template on its side. So we wanna leave this little half of an inch side tab here, but we're gonna remove the rectangles on the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna come in and notch on that side tab and then remove those corner rectangles. Same thing down here at the bottom. Okay, now we're while we're on the bottom, I'm gonna cut up those vertical score lines, stopping at that first horizontal. These are gonna be the little bottom flaps to create the base of our box. Like so, you got four tabs now. And then up top, I'm just gonna go ahead and separate these two sections, stopping at that horizontal score line. So we got those two flaps, okay? Now we can go ahead and fold and burnish on those diagonal score lines after we've done that cutting. Like so. Now I've got two pieces of the Press Petals Specialty Designer Series paper, and these measure two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I'm gonna bring back the Simply Scored really quick and I'm gonna kind of flip these over and I'm gonna go ahead and make a little tick mark at one and three eighths on both of them. And that's just gonna be a little guideline for us to cut these into triangular pieces. I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Trimmer, the trimmer of your choice. And here is what we're gonna do. We made that little tick mark at one and three eighths. We're gonna cut on the diagonal up to the corner. So we're gonna end up with three pieces of the designer series paper. So what I like to do is to line up that little tick mark in the cutting groove, and then just pivot the designer series paper to line up the corner. I like to start the cutting at the top here, and we'll cut down. So now we've got one piece. Then I'm just gonna rotate it the other way from the tick mark to the opposite corner. Again, moving my cutting blade up and then cutting down. So then we're gonna end up with three pieces like so. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other piece. Okay, now we can adhere these pieces in the triangular sections on the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with liquid glue.
Okay, next I'm going to apply tear and tape along the side tab. I'm going to run that right up to the score line instead of the cut edge. And then I'm going to fold on that first score line from the left and then the second straight score line from the right to line those guys up. Okay, now before we put the base together, I'm going to bring in the detailed trio punch and we're going to go ahead and round the corners of this top flap. Like so. And then one more thing before we put the box base together, just taking a look at which side's going to be my front. Okay, this is going to be the front here. We're going to do some stamping right here on the top flap using the Path of Petals stamp set. We're going to use the sentiment, Your Kindness Has Touched My Heart. I'm going to stamp that in Mary Merlot. just love the way that looks on the top there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the box base together. Now, because this is kind of at an angle, you just can pick either one of these two flaps as the last one that we put down. So I'm just gonna start all right, and fold in one flap. Because we're gonna have the hand cream in here, I'm gonna add glue onto each of the panels as I glue them down. Again, this one's gonna be our last one. Just kind of square up the bottom. Then what I like to do is to grab the body cream and we'll just put that inside the box. Just pinched it open there. And you'll see there's no need to burnish this top, that top score line, just leave it as is. So there is that part. Now let's go ahead and decorate this. I'm first gonna use the Very Vanilla Scalloped Lace Trim. We're just gonna tie a little bow at the top here. Okay, and then just a little trick to keep that bow in place. I'm gonna hide a mini glue dot right underneath the knot. It just keeps it in place. Now you can still pinch and open this box, no problem with that ribbon there. So now we're gonna create a really pretty flower using the beautiful Pressed Petals Specialty Washi Tape. These are little individual petals and I've got our little silicone mat that's gonna help me create our flower here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do six petals, but I'm gonna do them in little trios first. All right, and then I'm just gonna overlap. Little narrow ends there. There's one little trio, and then we'll just overlap the next ones. Staggering them. Like so, I'm gonna grab one of our perennial essence floral centers. We'll put one of those in the center of this flower. And then just using the one inch circle punch, I'm gonna punch out a circle from crumb cake here that we're gonna stick this flower to. And if the stickiness on the back of the petals bothers you, you can always use our little embossing buddy. I'm just gonna show you how you would do that. This is used for our heat embossing, but it's got other uses as well. And you can just kind of dab that onto those washi petals so it takes some of the sticky away from them. Like that, okay? So then I'm just gonna take a trio of Stampin' Dimensionals and then we'll pop that right on the front of our little box here. And voila, there is our Pressed Petals faceted gift box that holds a body cream. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog posts with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my monthly newsletter as well as my daily blog updates and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies and you can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. 
If you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag PaperPixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com slash catalogs. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.